Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating journey of the Class 230 battery train. A story of innovation, ambition, challenges, and the ever-evolving landscape of sustainable rail transport in the UK. Our story begins with the iconic D78 stock trains of the London Underground. Introduced between 1978 and 1981, these trains served the district line for decades. But as they were phased out, a visionary company saw potential in their robust aluminium bodies. Enter Viverail. Founded in 2012, this British company aimed to revolutionise rail travel by converting retired D78 stock into modern, eco-friendly trains. Their flagship project, the Class 230, a modular train designed to run on diesel, battery or hybrid power. The Class 230 was envisioned as a cost-effective solution for regional lines, especially those lacking electrification. By reusing existing train bodies, Viverail aimed to reduce manufacturing costs and environmental impact. In 2023, Great Western Railway, GWR, initiated a trial of the battery-powered Class 230 on the Greenford branch line. Equipped with Viverail's innovative fast charge system, the train could recharge its batteries in just 3.5 minutes at West Ealing Station, enabling continuous daily operations without the need for overhead wires. One of the standout achievements was the Class 230 setting a UK record by travelling 86 miles on battery power alone without recharging, a testament to its potential in sustainable rail transport. However, the journey wasn't without hurdles. Transport for Wales, TFW, planned to deploy five hybrid Class 230 units on the Borderlands line. But technical issues, including battery-related incidents, delayed their introduction. When they finally entered service in April 2023, they faced further challenges like pollen-clogging engine filters, leading to service disruptions. This brings us to some critical questions. Was the Class 230 a success or a failure? Did it pave the way for future sustainable trains, or did it highlight the complexities of retrofitting old stock with new technology? While the Class 230 showcased the possibilities of battery-powered trains and sustainable practices, it also underscored the challenges of integrating new technologies into existing infrastructures. Viverail's liquidation in 2023 marked a significant setback, but their innovations laid the groundwork for future developments in the sector. Today, the landscape is shifting. GWR plans to introduce 100 new battery trains by 2030, aiming to replace diesel units on regional routes. These modern trains, developed by companies like Siemens, promise longer ranges and faster charging times, signalling a new era in rail transport. The Class 230's journey is a poignant reminder of the trials and triumphs in the pursuit of sustainable innovation. While it may not have achieved widespread success, its legacy lives on, inspiring the next generation of eco-friendly trains. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the Class 230 story, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more railway tales and technological explorations. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.